Okay. The session is recording now. A Latin. What's what's your name, brother? You are muted. I can't hear you. Elton. Elton, yes. Are you going? Are you doing it practically? I was. I was still looking at it. No, so I want to go ahead and download it from the alassian.com. Yes, you don't have to download. It. It's just a website. It's a cloud-based thing. Just click on Alassian. Then uh, Terra, are you also doing it or? Yeah, I'm there. Okay, good. Omisa, you. I don't know. These guys. I don't. What are they? Oh, <laughs> covering their faces. Yeah, when your site opens, where did I go to before? I'm... Before we see the option, so then share your screen. It, you just scroll down. It should be all. It should just be on that page. You can share your screen now, and then we'll look at it. Are you muted? Uh, scroll, this okay. is my screen. Yeah, scroll up, scroll up back gently. Go up, go up, uh, go up again. Yeah, continue. Go up. Okay, click on the that's Jira on your left hand side. Okay. Click on that. Let's okay. Mm -hmm. Click, click on it. Okay, scroll down. Let me see gently. Please follow for those that are doing. It's important that you do it. It's a different when you do it. So that when you run into an issue, we'll, we can all fix it. Go down gently. Let me see where you are. Okay, there, you, you, you're there, yeah, right there. You okay. click on that one, yeah. Okay, you can stop sharing now and then you follow Milton? up. Yes. What's the difference between the free version and the paid version? The free version, you don't see that it says seven days trial. In terms of functionality, is the that's the full application, but the the thing is that after seven days, if you don't pay them their money, they're gonna disconnect you, right? Okay, then the free is limited uh, functionality. The the free, the free one. Wait, what's your question? What's the difference between the free and the uh, <laughs> paid? The I've, the paid is that you, you'll be using it now. And then the free is that you cannot use it after seven days. Like the one we are taking out, it's clearly written there, uh, uh, free for seven days only, right? Yeah. Did, did you see this? Yeah, and I what think about, it was due to the number yeah, of- actually, actually, it says that free is free forever, but mm. you can only have 10 users monthly and there is no obligation. That's what it oh means. yeah, I see what you mean. I see. I didn't mm. look at this. I usually go with the standard. The reason why I wanted to use standard because standard. This standard has like um, more robust tools within it, right? Yeah, I understand why she's asking. So, ten users at least per month, and you can have it forever, and there's no obligation. Why not? Why Why can't we go for that? Instead because we might be missing some functionality that we may need to learn. Remember, the, you, you need to ask what's the difference between free, standard, and premium. You see, there's standard, there's premium. And even premium two takes only up to 100 people. So there's, I'm, I'm sure that this one, this premium has more tools inside. Okay. We can go for the basic, but hey, it might not really help us. I usually do the standard, to be honest, okay. because I want to make sure that we have at least a certain, maybe let me say midway, 50% of uh, at least what we want. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna click on start trial version. Uh, guys, give me a second if I forget this. Guys, go ahead, click the trial version for those that are trying it. And then it will take you to this screen. When you get to this screen, say sign up with email. Let me know if you are there, guys. I want this class to be practical. I don't yeah, want okay. Sign up with email. You, you, when you click like that, and then you put in your email. Our email that we created was what? Oh, Karima Kawi at gmail.com. That was the email. And you can give a different password, but I usually want to maintain the same password. 
Is that the one you want us to use or use our own personal? No, account? use your own. You can log two people can get that use the same thing now. I'm just saying. <laughs> Must yeah. we use a Gmail account or no? Any account? email, any email that you can have access to because when you register it, they're gonna send you an activation link to that email. You need to go into that email and click that link to activate it. Any email. I just like Gmail because it's easy to use. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so I put my password and I said my first name was Omisa and my last name was Karima. Okay, and I said what? Agree. And you know, this thing will always come. They say select images, select all images with taxi. I don't know which one is taxi. And then you say verify. I don't know if you should verify me. Okay, they say, Alassian, check your inbox. We've emailed a verification link to okarimakawi.gmail.com. It will expire shortly, so verify. Remember to check your spam folder. So, what, what type of team do we work in? Operation, customer service, IT? Service? We haven't reached there now. <laughs> we haven't reached there. You have to go with the flow of class, Elizabeth, so that I, I will not go back and forth, please. Elizabeth, you started again. <laughs> Sorry, <yo. laughs> Okay. So I'll go to here. That's where I had my email. I was already logged in, and you can see almost there. Please verify your email address. And then it's, you can go here and say, either click here to verify, or you can look at this and say, get started on something amazing. They can say, work, uh, start working smarter. Usually you click the other one. This one that says verify your email first because you have to verify it. So when you click, it will take you here. Hey guys, let me know if you're, if you are okay. Are you where I am right now? Yeah. Okay. Here, yeah. I usually use my first and last name. Like I would just say, oh, Karima. Karima, my first, my, my first initial and my last name. And look at it. It says what? Oh, Karima dot Alassian dot net. That would be your site name. Remember that this say choose something similar like your 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 team or company name. So let's say this is our company. Like I used to work for Pearson. Pearson will just put Pearson here. It will mean that Pearson. You say the name is taken. You see because Pearson had, a company called Pearson had taken it. You see what I'm saying? It will be pearson.alassian.com. Does that, do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. So, but let's say ours is Okarima. And then I, you click next. And uh, let me quickly say that, uh, Romeo, let me quickly say that this uh, preliminary state uh, um, is being set up by maybe your administrator. Before you go to that job, all of this has been done. This section, what we're doing now, was already done. It is now your responsibility as a DBA or technician, but because we are starting from Christ, we are forced to go through this to set it up. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, so but when we get to it, I will say that okay, we've passed that stage. So you might not want to pay so much attention here, but it's just general knowledge. I know, uh, um, Romeo, Romeo would like to know this part, right? Romeo, Romeo, are you there? Okay, I think he's dropped out again. Anyway, Romeo is here, bro. Okay, good. <laughs> now, what type of team do you work in? So you have sales, 
software development, operations, legal, marketing, customer service, IT support, finance, resources, and order. Now, let me explain this. This is just examples of what you can use, you know, different teams or whatever. There's even telecommunication, but it's not listed here. There are a lot of other company insurance that are using it, but you don't find it here, right? But for the purpose of this class, we are going to skip it because we, are, we, are, we just skip it. We just want to make sure that, okay, it, we assume that we can do all of this for the purpose of the class. But for most teams in some in job areas, they're going to choose one. If they're doing designing a software or uh, on an app, they're going to choose app. Does this make sense, guys? Yep. For the purpose of the class, I'll click on skip. Then they say, which of these best describes you what you do? This will appear in your profile. Again, project manager, CTO, product owner, database, I'm sure student or whatever. Again, for the purpose of the class, we're not going to choose any. We're just going to go to what? Skip. Skip. <clears throat> so uh, let me know if you are here, guys. Yes. Yes. Yeah, for those of you that created your email, so if you do not create and you use your, using a particular email for Jira, please put the email on the chat and I will use it. This is where you invite your team. Remember, I said, as a database administrator, you're going to be working with an agile team or in a team environment. So you, you and those team environment, you need to be in that team with other team members in such a way that everything you do there, the other team members can see. That is one reason why you use Jira or as a ticketing tool for visibility. Agile teams do that. So please put your, 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 your emails. Let me invite you. I need somebody, okay, let me see <laughs> someone already this. This is uh, Liz, I don't know who is that. That's me. Oh, Liz. okay. Yeah. Okay, I need another person. This is, oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, let's just have three, but you can add more. We can even add when you are already inside the software, okay? You can invite them. Then I say next. Thank you, Prince. I'll add you later, but thank you. I'll add, I'll, I'll, but I'll add you later. Oh. Keep sending the emails. No problem, bro. Keep sending. I will add it later. They give they up. They only gave three options. So they said, please help us set up your Jira. I am. Are you new to Jira? Experience with Jira. Let's say we are new to Jira, right? So uh -huh. we say new, or sometimes you can just keep it. But I would like to say we are new. And then they say. Uh, my team is new to Jira and Agile method. We just say new. All of us are new. We spend our time working on features, support operation, fixing bugs. Uh, support. We can use, I think we can use support. You know what, guys? We're going to take. Yeah, let me. Um, support. Stroke operations. Okay, let me use support. Uh, we have a schedule, a dash schedule. We have a tight schedule, schedule to finish our work. Let's say flexible schedule, and then we'll say next. I'm not sure what that means, but I'll figure it out once we get in. You see, and it comes here. Kanban, Kanban, Scrum. I don't want to describe the difference here, but I know what Kanban is. Kanban is what we call a DevOps tool, okay? And, yeah, uh, Milton. Uh, yes. Just to, we were supposed to also uh, insert the uh, the email address. So you, just... yeah, you can just insert one of the emails. It's all in the chat. Insert your team member, teammates in your in there if you want. If you want to, you can put only one and go ahead. There's a there's an option inside where you can add more team members if you want to. Okay, sure. which I will show you. If you cannot do that today in our next class when we're finalizing, I will show you how to do that. Okay. Yeah, just put one email and then pass that and click next. For the purpose of the class, you can just go to our chat, copy maybe Elizabeth email or Prince or whoever, and just put it. And the other people can do the same. Uh, Francis do the same. Copy the other people email, and then Elizabeth copy the other people. Prince copy the other people. All everything is on the chat. Here, I will not want to go into say this, but I will talk about it next class. Let's just take Scrum, okay? I will explain why later. 
Now, when you take strong so influence, we are choosing new to Jira, right? Huh? We we choosing new to Jira, right? Yeah, take new, new to Jira. You can even skip it, but take new to say you are new to Jira, and then your team say okay. your team is also new to Jira. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Features. Features say uh, something with operations. Operations. Support. Okay. Support, Support and, and operations. operations. Yeah, that's what I choose. Right, huh? yeah, flexible. No, flexible. Okay. Huh? I go yeah. Back. yeah. And then when you take next, where are you? Are you on project? Choose a next gen template. Oh, choose Scrum. I already said that. Choose Scrum. It should. Oh, I'll okay. explain that later. We are really crunching for time. So we are here now. We're we on time, tight schedule. <laughs> Share your screen. No. Oh. I, I like I like the class that they are, you guys are trying to do it. Like the reason I'm rushing through this now because I'm I'm already logging to work, so I I don't want my phone to my office phone to ring when I'm talking to you guys. We won't talk. We'll um, meet ourselves. Okay. Now, uh, uh, let me go back to sharing my screen. If no one is sharing, mm. let me know if we're all here. Yeah. Yeah, we're here. Okay, good. So, listen, guys, this is where you create your project. Again, by the time you go to that job, they've already done this. Whatever project you're going to be working on, is it a migration project? Is it deployment? Is it uh, is the team developing an app or an application or whatever they are doing? They would have already designed it. So there are different kinds of projects. Let's say we're going to be doing a migration project. Let's say migration project. You can type it like that. We'll add another project so that you see the different project. You see that? And you see, because it's a team, you say only a means and people you add to the project can search for view, create, or edit. So there is an access level. Remember, the, even from database perspective, we, you always grant users access, right? Yeah. So in this project that you have, who do you want to access? You can click here. You can say, oh, limited. Anyone with access to the oh, Karima Jira site can search for it, you can do that, right? Or you can make it private to say only and means and people you add to, like I've already, we've already added people to, to that project, right? We have already, like me, I've added, Kari, I think I added Karima, Elizabeth and, and Francis. Or you can say, leave it as open and say anyone with access to the Okarima Jira site can search. So in most cases, they never leave it open, except it's just, some open thing that people just want to do. Most projects, even in companies, they are, they are segmented. And they will prefer to have people to be to be to either to be private or maybe limited. I don't know which one will choose. The only people you add to the project can create and edit its 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 issue. So let's take but limited. I prefer I would take limited because it's going to be a team. I don't want it to be super private. I just want it to be limited. So Choose limited, and then when you, once you oh, choose uh, limited, huh? I, I am actually in this side base asking for a key. Share your screen. It's the same place where we are. The same asking for a key. The same place. Once place. you put, once you put that project. Just asking for a key. So I did. I did. Just put. Put a. Put put a, a in, in, it's not asking for a key. Just put the migration. Project. Put space. Yeah, put, okay, leave it like that. Leave it, it's fine, it's fine. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So yours, uh, and let me let me tell you uh, uh, the mistake you, the one mistake you did that you didn't follow with us. You choose Kanban, you did not choose uh, wow. Scrum. Wow. But it will, it's not, that's not the reason why it's asking for that key. That key is not going to ask you. That key is generated automatically. Right, right now, it's already there. When you create a ticket, Jira automatically create a key map to, to that ticket, to that project. Yeah, click on back. Let's see if you, you'll be able to take you back. No, it's going to start over. 
Yeah, you need to add. No, don't. You've Ooh. gone too far. <laughs> yeah. Put in one uh, email address on the top. It's you already there. Huh? Wait, hold on. One oh, is already... oh, you can just. Take... Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Take next. Then. Oh, new. Mm -hmm. new. New. Working on support and operations. Then flexible. Take next. Take Scrum. Scrum, yeah, that one. Okay. That's no key. Put no put key. A, put a project. It's not asking for a key. That's I told you that that's not a key. That's an indication, brother. That's an I'm saying an indication. That's a, yeah, it's called a key. I will explain to you. Just put it up. Just put it. I'll explain. You see, yours put it as M I G. Okay. Take create. Click create. I'll show you where that comes into. Very good. And guys, look at this. You are inside Jira now, point blank. So before you go to work, they give you login. As you log in, that's where it's going to land you. All what you and I have been doing would have already been set up. Does that make sense? Do we get that difference? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, stop sharing. Let me, let me continue from here. And I'll explain that key that you're saying key. It's not asking for a key. So each time you create a project, right? Yeah. They, 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 they say a, a project key that Jira automatically will suggest to you like MP. This means that when I go inside and I start creating my tickets, you will see, if you see MP001, what does it tell you? Migration project. Migration project 001. Thank you, Eric. For, 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 um, for Elliton's own, it will be MIG001, which is the same thing. The reason why it automatically took that was because he did not give a space after migration. He just said migration project one word, which is still fine. So you see, I'm also here now. Where you have Jira quick start at the top right hand side, click on the X just to exit that. Now, what do you see? What do you see here? To do in progress and done. What does that tell you? From service now. Yeah. This is a task. Mm -hmm. So to do will be your new. What is all of this? The life, um, the life cycle. Life cycle. Life cycle. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. All what you say is correct, but what does that signify? All of that bundle as one. That is yeah. a life cycle. Perfect. Does this sound familiar? Does it? You, yeah. see, you see why I said. The, the, the interface might be different, but the concept is the same. Okay. Let's do, okay, look at, follow me guys. On the top left hand side, we have what we call the Jira software. We call this the home button. Click on it. Did you click on it? Yep. Is everyone here? Mm -hmm. yeah. So and then on the right hand on the right hand side, you see a blue button say create project. Let's assume that you 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 that your, your manager has given you a task to say, oh, create another project. We already have project here, this migration project. So just click there, then it takes you back here. And then you say select the, the, the project type, just select classic at the bottom. I want everyone to follow me. Classic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you comes back here. Let's say this time we want a software development project as an example. And you see the key there, Elliton. You see SD? Yeah. Okay. And this one is saying uh, uh, Kanban. But we want Scrum. So I click on change template. And I click on Scrum. It comes back here. And I say create. Mm -hmm. Let me know if everyone is there. Not there. Share your screen. 
Yeah. I got lost from that. Um, okay. So are they on the uh, top left hand side? Yeah, no, that blue, yeah, clicked on that button. No, 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 the next one. Yeah, click on that. That's what we call the home button, click. Did you click? Yeah. Okay, yeah. when you click, because your interface, yeah, then come to the right hand, come across on the right hand, where you see create project, create project. Nope, nope. <laughs> create project, cancel that. Create project, right hand side. Okay. okay, then click select classic on the bottom, classic. Then the, you see where it says template says what? Kanban, click on change template. Software, software development for no change. Then click on Scrum, the middle one. Then now the new project you want to you want to create is called software development. No, don't take you have already created that one. Type software development. Hold on. Space development. And then you click on create. Good. Go back to that home screen again and click on it. Yeah, interface is a little different. Yeah, click. What do you see now? Two projects. Two projects. Two project. So you know the process. Create and let's create another one, but stop sharing your screen. Create another one. Stop sharing your screen. Uh, uh, create another project. Let's create another project. So that just uh, I, um, I should be sure that you guys are familiar. I also have my two projects, uh, migration project and software. Let's click again. we we'll go to classic. We click on change template, which was Chrome. This time around, let's call this deployment, deployment project. Just the word deployment, you click create. Let me know if you are, if you are here. Let me know if you are here. Please do not go forward if you run into a problem. Don't go forward because it will be hard for us to go back. If yeah. you're having okay. a problem, so, huh? Um, so create project when I share your screen. screen. Project, share your screen. No, you can just tell me. I don't have to like, share. The the reason why you share a screen is not only because of you, Elizabeth. There might be other people that are having the same problem. Yep, scroll okay. down. You are in the right place. Scroll down, then click on classic. I don't know why your screen is like that. There should be classic at the bottom of uh, there. Hold on, let me try to see. Okay, there, that's why I wasn't saying it. Yeah, okay. right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, okay, the template is already changed to Scrum. So type in deployment. <laughs> is everybody where, where uh, in the same place? Okay. Let me know, guys. I hope I'm recording this session. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Zips, are you trying to do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's go back to the home button again call if you get missing ah. in jira i always tell people when you get missing the first place you do what go to the home button and click from there okay yeah you click there and then it lists you your projects let me see something here guys anyway so we have, how many projects do we have? Three. Three. Three projects. So let's make an assumption. Let's say we want to work to develop an app, in, which is software development, right? 
Yeah. So if we click on software development, it takes us here. And when you look on your directly below your home button, you see software development or the name of the project. That means that is where you are starting to work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now at the top, you see a button that just say create. Click on that. This is where you begin your first ticket. And again, like I said, Scrum Master and other agile uh, 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 workers call it a user story. When you click on create, look at it carefully, please. At the top, you see project with an asterisk, which means you can still come here, you decide to change the project that, oh no, I didn't want to create this ticket, but on software development, I want to create it, but where? Deployment. Deployment right. or where? Migration, Migration, depending on how many projects. Are. Or if you have uh, 10 projects in your, in, in your environment, if you click here, all the 10 will be listed here. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, issue type is the ticket type. Just like we say, we have task, incident, and all of that in, in Jira. They call their own story, task, book, and epic. Okay. Different names, same, con same concept. Make sense? Yeah. Good. Now you go to summary. Let's just, I'll just give an example. Oh, I already have examples there that I say. As a member, I want to log in so I can access my account. You can use that as a member. Or let me say as a member, let me say as a DBA, as a DBA, as an example, I want to log in so I can access my account. That's a summary of a ticket you want to create. And sometimes you can give a full description of it, but let's just copy for, assume that this summary is the same description. You come down to where you have description box and then you type it, you, you paste it there. But before you come here, there's this area where you say drop files or attach files. So there can be some tickets. Let's say you are doing an onboarding ticket, for, for example. And on that onboarding ticket, you are, that onboarding means they have recruited uh, people. They have recruited uh, uh, um, maybe let's say um, six workers or six DBAs. And then they, they, they send over this ticket to you. They want you to, uh, in a, an HR send it over in a maybe a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet. And you don't want to type it all. You want to just input the, the entire spreadsheet so that you can reference it when you are working on it. You can come here and you click on browse. And then you say upload file. And then you find where the, the file is. Maybe an Excel sheet. Let me go to pictures. Uh, what picture will I, am I going to put? Okay, let me put this. Maybe I, let me just assume that this is uh, the, the, a picture that I want to put. And I, and I can do what? Insert one file. So you can also attach a file to a Jira ticket. That is one thing I forgot to teach you how to do that on service now. But next class, guys, remind me. I'll teach you how to, I'll show you how you can attach a file to a ticket or a picture or a screenshot. Remember, we say when you are investigating, you can ask for a screenshot, right? Yeah. You can also attach it before you, you, add, you assign that ticket to whatever team so that they can look at the screenshot and see the error message the user is experiencing and be able to determine the, where the problem is coming from. This is how you do it in, 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 in um, Jira. Now you scroll down a little bit. You see more options, linked issues. You can link issues to is blocked by or who is blocking this and all of that. And I don't want to talk about this because it's strictly agile, but that might not really apply to you. So you leave it, leave the default from there. And then when you choose block, you choose a, a, a you see, they say no match. You can, if it was actually an environment that is already set up, you choose that, oh, this is being blocked by, then you, you have to select what it is blocking it. But like I said, we are not doing that. Now, assignee, if you click here, look at what is happening. What happens under assignee? If I click here, those that I did input at the beginning, you see Elizabeth here? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I added Elizabeth. I added Francis and I added, uh, I think this is Karima, right? So I might want to assign this ticket to Karima. What do I do? Select. I just select Karima. 
And then I'll say priority, which I, I didn't show you on service now. Please also remind me, I will show you on service now. Priority determines whether how fast or how urgent the ticket is. So if you click here, you can see there's the highest priority. See, the, the arrow is even red. That means in my environment, anything highest, that means it should be resolved immediately, like within the next 15 minutes. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, um, uh, Eric, you say you are confused. You, some, you remember some of those high engineers yesterday, they were asking P1, P2, P3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, where yeah. they, that's what they simply mean by P1, P2, although they are using yeah. all of that. It just yeah. means priority one, priority two, but mm -hmm. it is lowest, low, high, highest. Period. Oh. English words. Why will you say P1, P2 and confuse people? <laughs> I don't know. Does it make sense now? Yeah, yeah. So, but by default, most tickets are usually medium. So let's leave it for now for medium, but just on that at work, you can change it depending on how urgent the ticket is. And, and then why is that? I just noticed that media is an option at the, uh, in, the, in the bottom. It is not on which bottom? The uh, medium, uh, as the, uh, you know, it's not, a, it's not, you saw you have low, lowest and high, highest and, and medium is in there. So because the medium is already here. If you choose, if you, if you select, if you, listen, then it comes. Listen, okay, if you it. choose low, and then you click now, medium is there. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then there were labels. I think these labels will be will be like um, additional information that you want to add to the ticket. Okay. And again, like I said, not all of this will will, will apply to us for now. And then sprint, this is very important and I want to describe it. So Agile says that if they are developing an app, they don't want to see, you know how projects are, they used to write a project from beginning to the end, they give it to somebody to implement it, the person will start implementing it starting from scratch. When it ends, then he will hand it over. That's not Agile. Agile says that they prefer a little functionality over comprehensive documentation, which means that when they start designing an app, even if it's just the login that they have finished designing, they will release it into production so that users can use that login. So because of that, what they do is that they release that in sprints and a sprint is two weeks. So usually when you when we create a sprint, you will see all the sprints that we have here. But for now, you see there's no matches. I will show you that probably in our next class on how you can create a sprint and then give it a sprint name. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then after you, you select all of these, you, then you click on create. In that way, it will create your ticket. And look at what happens. This is a ticket. SD1. It's going to disappear, but you'll see it again. SD1. That means once I see SD1, I know that this is software development ticket. What? One. Wow. Remember the INC2, we were saying they, they will show 00049. Yeah. That means that it is, you have up to, you have already created up to 4,000 tickets. Yeah. Does this make sense? Yes. Good. Now, if you, once you do that, Look at, uh, uh, go to, hold on guys. Let me see where we are. Go to oh, 1022. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're running up very soon. Sorry. Go to the right-hand side where you have issues. Click on issue. Let's see. We have no issues. <laughs> What do you mean? Share your screen. Can I share my screen? Yes, who, uh, share your screen, Karima. Let me stop sharing. Okay, one second. Elizabeth. I didn't see any issues in my... You don't have issues? I don't have issues. It means you are, you are, you are the <laughs> genius sister of Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to like see what is down here to click. Uh, and it's the size of your screen. It's their yeah. options at the bottom, and I don't know how I can. How can move I help it you? Move it to your if you're on. Move it to your monitor, and then you can um, um, your monitor screen, and then you can expand it. 
You can never it down or draw the arrow down to open it because mine did the same thing. Yeah. I'm already, on my monitor monitor right screen. I'm already on my monitor. Oh, okay. It's at the bottom one. That it helped me. I was able to put it, yeah, at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think it, it that it's it's due to the resolution of your. Uh -huh. Can you go to your desktop real quick? Um, empty desktop. Uh, Karima. Mm -hmm. Re minimize that. Okay. Right click. Right click. Yeah. Take uh, display settings. Let me see. Display settings. Yeah. Click that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Scroll down to. Do you have two monitors? Yeah. Oh, I see why. And they're duplicating. They're, yeah, they're not supposed to be duplicating. Click on that uh, resolution. Let me see. What? Yeah, you already have the best, the, the recommended one. Click on it. Take uh, your other tab one. Take the second option. Let's just try that and see. I'm not sure that's going to work. I think she stopped sharing, then it will show better in her monitor. Yeah. Okay. No, she was not seeing either. Reverting to previous display. Take keep changes. Let's see. Okay, go back to that window. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Click on what where it says uh, the, the the one that says uh, change the size of text apps and other items. Go up, go up. Yeah, right there. Click there. Let me see. Change it size. to uh change it to 125. I want it smaller, not bigger. 125. Yep. Take 125. Click on 125. I just did. Okay, go back to that screen now. Let me see. Go back to your your, your Jira window, the, the browser. I don't know which browser you're using. In this case, you could keep the resolution as once one, yeah. one. You see that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the okay. options now come comes up. It's just the resolution that it maybe is designed. So click on insert file. I don't know what you are trying to attach. There you I go. Just insert, yep, insert there something. you go. Okay. Then you scroll down. Oh, we didn't choose anything. Scroll down a little bit. Scroll down. Scroll down. Uh, go to where you have assignee. Assign it to somebody. That ticket to somebody. You, if you leave it, go up. Go up. Go up. Go up a little bit. Yeah, right there. Yeah, you only add your name. Oh, you had Francis. Assign it mm -hmm. to Francis. I find that ticket to Francis. Okay. Oh, Click come on, on. I need a break. Click uh, create ticket. You need a break. You came here to take a break. I oh, mean, I've, I've been busy. Busy doing what? I, I had a lot of tickets okay, to run this morning. Everyone has been created. Yeah, that's why we pay you uh, forty five dollars an hour. It says it's created, but it's not currently currently visible. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. So click on. Li listen to me, guys. Go to your Jira window again. Uh, click on the the software development project. Click on software development project. Okay. Then click on issues on the left hand side. Issues, come down. Click. Mm -hmm. Then hold on. Elizabeth said he doesn't see issue. Do you see issue now? Elizabeth, do you see it? I see a fixed issues. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by fixed issue? Well, I didn't have okay. this. Are you yeah. good now, Karima? Yeah, I'm perfect. Thank okay. you. Share your screen. Uh, yeah, you can stop sharing. Let's look at what uh, Elizabeth is. I didn't have uh, a drop down when you get to that. Um, can you share your screen, my dear? I'm sharing. Mm -hmm. Share. So in my summary, I just <laughs> typed this in because there was nothing there. Ah, yeah, yeah. So I was typing and you did not see. OK, click on fix issue. Let me see something. Sign. Okay. Fixed issue. Scroll down a little bit. Let me see something. Um, as far as it goes. That is fine. Um, there is a 
place where click or no come come to come to come to the middle come to the middle yeah go up a little bit no you go you're right no no come down go left a little bit to where i have the three dots no right go to the right hand where i have the three dots click on those three dots let me see okay that one is add don't add anything i wanted to see where you can add if you can edit that oh, but that's okay. still fine we can keep it like that as fixed issues okay but mm -hmm. i'll figure it out if we can edit it and then i'll let you know but okay. that's fine mm -hmm. okay. yeah issue that can be a ticket a whole ticket just fix issues mm -hmm, yeah depending on the description that will be there mm -hmm. okay good mm -hmm. so See, I told you I have no issue. it's already 11 we are more than 30 minutes into uh, other people's time so at least we got yourself ourselves right into jira we created one ticket there are a lot more we're going to look at the parts of that ticket we're going to see, we've seen how you can assign a, that ticket to somebody. We're going to also look at how you can add users into your team. Let's say if you have a new team member, how do you add that? How do you add that, 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 that member to your team? Sorry, guys. So if you don't, do, if you see that, then you will, will, will look at that in our next class, how you add uh, users into your team, how you look at the different parts of a ticket, how you can create a sprint, then we'll look at the, what we call the product backlog, which is where all the tickets go to. When you activate your sprint, you move it from your product backlog to your sprint backlog. I'm going to give you all those differences, okay? So that you, and then we'll do it practically. They, this class is a practical class. Once you know that as a DBA, when you go to work, you're also going to be part of a team. And there are going to be some tickets that will come to you and say, oh, Elizabeth, you, are, you, you, you need to fix this bug. Oh, Francis. This is what you need to do. You need to create a database and we've put it. You credit, when you credit, you see how it's assigned to you and then it goes to in progress. When you work on it, then it will leave from in progress and then you resolve it to what? Done. Or another thing is that uh, uh, some companies will set up what is called um, testing. You, if you are designing an app, you say you design a login, it is in, pro in progress. After you design finish as a developer, you put it to testing. The QA will come in, test it. After it say it's working correctly, then they'll move it to done. Meaning that you successfully take that ticket from new, in progress, test, and done. And all of that is called what? Life cycle. Life cycle That's of a ticket. Yes, so let me... Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. We have come to the end of our class. We have over, over it by 30 minutes. Thank you any so questions? very much. Thank you. Thank you so Thank very you much. Thank you so much. Uh, yep. see, I see, I see how you guys want to go. The class is not over. Sit down. We're just taking the instructor. We're just taking Everybody wants to go. Thank you, thank you. No, you sit down, ask questions. I'll wait. Any question? Karin. Where's Karin? Okay. Karima. Yeah, so uh, did I catch up with yesterday's class I missed, please? <laughs> yeah, we didn't even do this part on yesterday. We already did service now, which we already went through it. Thank you. Where did yeah. we do we go to sign out? Huh? From from what? <laughs> from, <laughs> no, no, from the Jira software. Where do we go to sign out? You can just close it out. <laughs> oh, I see. It's still, gonna, it's still gonna log you out, and then when we come next week, remember the same pa uh, email address and password. We're gonna log in, and then it will take. We're not gonna start from scratch again. Okay. Right, we'll just continue from here once you log into it. Okay, I got it. But maybe we'll not even have the opportunity to do so because next week I'm not going to be with you guys. I'm going to be with other class. Oh, uh, okay. So I don't know, but what I will encourage you to do, please. Oh, yeah, listen, guys, please. Uh, uh, let, me, let me share my screen again one more time. Please go home, play with it within the next seven days, right? Okay. Yeah. Click on the, the, the Jira software uh, uh, button, the home button, go to deployment, create maybe like 10 tickets there, right? Just yeah. name the anything randomly. 
I'll, I can send it to the forum and then, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll want you to create the same ticket. So I will okay. send, I will, I will, I will, I will formulate ticket uh, name and then send it in, the, in your forum and have you put your, 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 your credit, uh, you create your tickets there. All of them, all of the tickets that I'm gonna give, give to you, guys, put it in deployment. Okay, thank you. And that, in that way, it will help you to know how to go back and forth. And that's the first assignment. The second assignment is that what? Create what? Create um, a new project yeah. and call it backup all databases or just say backup databases. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll look at it in our next, next class you'll be with Romeo. I'm gonna request uh, Romeo to give me maybe 20 minutes of his time and then we'll do one or two things here just so that within these seven days, you don't get kicked out by Jira, okay? At least that will be the last day and then before they kick you out. Mm -hmm. yeah, but right, guys. Now, we can still sign on with different emails. But you will need to go start back from scratch. Yeah. You need to go start back from scratch. And then you will not have all these tickets. Yeah, yeah, you don't have all these tickets. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh -huh. Sure. Francis, sit down. You're going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Uh,